every AI platform promises stunning results. But only a few can handle motion, style and realism all at once. One 2.2 claims to do just that. Time to put it to the test. I have to admit, I've been working a lot with Seadance Pro lately. The results are just outstanding. Since I'd already explored one dot video in the past, the launch of 2.2 was a good reason to take another close look at the platform. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through five steps. Step one, these are the images used in this test. Step two, the key factor, visual richness and detail. Step three, the comparison, Seadance Pro versus One 2.2. Step four, my verdict, Seadance Pro or One 2.2. Step five, how to generate videos with One 2.2. To give you a better sense of what this means visually, here's an overview of the different types of images I used. As mentioned in earlier videos, a proper test for me isn't just upload one image, hit generate, done. I run multiple rounds of testing. Only that way you can tell if a result is just a lucky hit or if the AI consistently produces usable outputs. You'll see a wide range of image types again, from simple illustrations to highly detailed photos. That gives both platforms a fair challenge across different categories. One quick side note here. For my recently published short film, The Fenrin Throne, you'll find the link at the end or in the video description. Feel free to check it out. I use Midjourney Video, Runway Act 2, and Seadance Pro. Kling, and I mean the 2.1 master version, which is their best model, didn't make the cut. The results were, let's just say interesting. That's also one of the reasons why I'm currently leaning more towards Seadance Pro in my recent projects. Before we jump into the direct comparison, I want to take a moment to highlight what really matters if you're aiming for more than just a I tried it once level, visual detail and how realistically it's translated into motion. From the film I mentioned earlier, the Fenrin throne, I selected a key example scene. A scout stands atop the highest tower of a fortress, looking out across a massive army of orcs that just landed on the beach. The viewer's attention is drawn from the scout down to the fires and troop clusters below. The images you're seeing here are selected single frames from that exact moment. Each AI platform, top left, Seadance Pro, top right, Kling 2.1 Master, bottom left, mid-journey video, worked with the exact same prompt. I'm deliberately holding back one 2.2 here so we can first take a clear look at the current top contenders. If you examine these three frames, again directly taken from the animations and shown here at roughly two times magnification, one thing becomes pretty clear. While the results from mid-journey video and Kling 2.1 Master appear soft and muddy, Seadance Pro shows strong detail and clear visual structure. So the key question now is, what can One 2.2 deliver? Let's find out. To begin, Seadance Pro, shown on the left, goes first. One 2.2, the top tier model in this test, shown on the right, will follow. Both platforms received the exact same prompts, the same starting image via image to video and the same camera instructions. Example one, we're heading into the Wild West. A black and white illustration shows a cowboy right after a shootout. He's the last man standing. The others lie groaning on the ground while a vulture circles above the town. Seadance Pro holds up well here. The illustration style remains consistent and details are preserved throughout. One 2.2 also delivers a solid result, but visual elements begin to fall apart mid-sequence. The win in this case clearly goes to Seadance Pro. Example two. This one was a fun challenge. The smartphone becomes a football stadium. Players move toward the goal and the crowd reacts with full emotion. Seadance Pro handles this scene quite convincingly. The motion of the players is strong and the perspective feels realistic. One 2.2 delivers a less stable result. Multiple ball objects appear and the overall movement feels more chaotic. Still impressive, but Seadance Pro takes this one with a slight edge. Example three. Here I wanted to see if the AI could animate several characters interacting at once. The prompt, 
Three uniformed figures point fingers at each other, gesture wildly, and take turns nudging one another back and forth. Sedent's Pro captures the scene well. The characters respond to each other in a believable way. 1-2.2 also performs quite strongly, but if you look closely, Sedent's handles the gestures and pacing with more precision. Point goes to Sedent's Pro. Example 4. Ever seen a rhino made of plastic drifting in the ocean? Here's the visualisation. This test combines two clips. In part 1, the rhino starts to glow. In part 2, a diver approaches the camera. 1-2.2 does a good job with the glowing effect at first, but completely misses the mark in the second part. The diver sequence doesn't follow the prompt at all. Seedance Pro, in contrast, stays focused from start to finish. The point goes to Seedance. Example 5, it's 1973. Helicopters are landing on foreign ground, bringing in troops and heavy equipment. The terrain beneath is completely dried out. Thick dust clouds rise and fill the air. 1-2.2 handles this impressively. The dust feels dynamic, the atmosphere convincing. But there's a major issue. The rotor itself spins unnaturally and breaks the illusion. That one detail ruins an otherwise great scene. So in this case, it's a draw. Both platforms perform well, but neither one gets a clean win. Example 6. A creature made of lava and ash. Something like a god of fire. It raises a blazing sword for a massive strike. In the Sea Dance Pro version, the sword is beautifully rendered, but the movement feels a bit stiff. 1-2.2, on the other hand, gets more right. The clouds in the background are dynamic, and the creature throws its full weight into the motion. You can feel the impact. The point clearly goes to 1-2.2. Example 7. I'm a fan of horses riding in formation, flags waving, medieval power, and everything in slow motion. The scene is meant to look like a painting. Sedance Pro delivers stable, believable movement across the board. 1-2.2, however, struggles here. The horses move in a strange hopping motion, bunching up awkwardly and losing the intended tone. The drama turns slightly comical. It's not even close in this round. The win clearly goes to Sea Dance Pro. Example 8. Back to 1985. Life was easy, or at least that's how we remember it. A motorcyclist rides down Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles, but wait, there's a bear following him. In the Sea Dance Pro version, it's cinematic and charming. The bear becomes a kind of friend or companion. In 1.2.2, it feels more like a joke. I'm avoiding the word ridiculous, but you get the idea. Pretty sure bears don't run like that. Winner, Sea Dance Pro. Example 9, Desert, Mad Riders, Modified Vehicles. This scene may feel familiar. The idea was to create a POV shot from inside a vehicle, watching the chaos outside. Unfortunately, both platforms ignored my prompt note about opposite vehicle directions. Still, there's a clear difference in execution. Sea Dance Pro stands out with much sharper detail and overall visual control. 1-2.2 lags behind in clarity. Despite the prompt issue, this point goes to Sea Dance Pro. Example 10. A quarterback gives an interview. Pride of the team, championship within reach. The video is split into two clips, a focus shift at the start, followed by the actual speaking part. 1-2.2 handles it all surprisingly well. Not only is the perspective change smooth, but the entire scene has a charm of its own. The character looks convincing, and the movement flows nicely. This round belongs entirely to 1-2.2. Very strong result. That wraps up the individual tests. Now for the verdict, the overall picture is pretty clear. Sea Dance Pro ends up with 8 points, 1-2.2 with just 3, and that scoring feels absolutely fair. Let me also revisit the earlier side-by-side -side comparison grid, now including 1-2.2. This visual frame still plays a key role when judging final video quality. And here too, the lead is obvious. Sea Dance Pro clearly stands out. Especially when compared to mid-journey video, Kling 2.1 Master and 1-2.2. The level of detail and rendering is simply in a different league. As for pricing, at the time of this video, 
using fal.ai as an example, won 2.2 costs between 10 cents, turbo model, and 40 cents, standard model, for a five second video, depending on the version. Seedance Pro costs 62 cents for a five second result as well. That's a solid argument in favor of one 2.2, no doubt. In the end, it's up to you to decide which option best suits your own needs. And yes, there are other ways to access one 2.2, but that would go beyond the scope of this video or require a powerful hardware. As promised, here's a quick walkthrough on how to use one 2.2. There are several ways to access it. Let's start with the native platform, one.video. Here's how it works. First, go to one.video. After logging in, which also works with a Google account, you'll land on One's Explore page. On the left-hand side, click Generate. The prompt bar is usually collapsed at first. Move your mouse over it and it expands. Here, you can upload a starting image. Just below that, enter your prompt. Further down, choose your output type on the left, image or video. There are more advanced options here, but those would need a separate tutorial. For now, just make sure you select the latest model, 1 2.2 plus. Under settings, you'll find controls for duration, output quality, and sound integration. Once you're ready, click generate on the right hand side. 1 2.2 is also available on other platforms like fal.ai, openart.ai, crea.ai, and replicate.com. My recommendation, choose based on the interface you're most comfortable with. If pricing matters to you, it's definitely worth comparing. There are major differences, and especially over time, those can really add up. Personally, I use fal.ai most of the time. The interface is clear, and the overall workflow is easy to manage. If you want to try fal.ai, just go to the Explore page and type 1 into the search bar. You'll see several versions of the model, including video to video, text to video, and of course, image to video. I usually go with variant 14B. Upload your image of choice, enter your prompt, and click Run. At the time of this video, the cost is 8 cents per second of output. As mentioned earlier, 12.2 is also available through platforms like replicate.com, openart.ai, and crea.ai. Just choose the one that fits your workflow best. Have fun experimenting, and I hope this walkthrough was helpful. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.